Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another banger reaction update and food review video. Now, I'm gonna, about to say the same thing here uh, momentarily. I just had to add this pre-intro because I forgot to tell you guys something. Um, because this is just a video of me basically BSing with you guys and telling you guys about my food, you know, telling you guys about my reactions that are coming for the week and I'm trying a bunch of different snacks, I'm not going to add chapters. So around the two minute mark, um, and then towards the end of the video, I would say the last minute and a half or so around those two areas, I talk about upcoming reactions and my plans uh, for the week. Okay. Spoiler alert. We are definitely diving heavy into baby metal this week. Continue watching to find out, you know, what exactly we're checking out. All right. Um, love you all so much. Thank you for all the love and support, especially on the last reaction video we did of baby metal. Let's get on to this video. Peace out. What is up, guys? Welcome back to another banger reaction update and food review video. Um, I'm going to let you guys know what we're going to be checking out this coming week. Uh, and, uh, yeah, this will be your guys' Saturday video. We did a banger reaction video to Baby Metal yesterday. So today's I'm updating you this coming week what we're going to be checking out. Uh, hopefully, as long as everything goes according to plan, I'll get you guys some uh, decent reactions. So I'm going to show you guys real quick what we're going to be trying out. Then I will tell you guys the reaction uh and then, uh, yeah, get into the food taste test part, all right? So we've got three different things we're going to be trying. I'm a huge Mountain Dew fan, right? Uh, I've had a lot of their flavors. Uh, back in 2019, a flavor called Maui Burst had come out, right? Um, and it was around for a limited time, along with a lot of their other flavors that they've permanently, you know, brought back, such as, like, Livewire. Um, and my local store didn't have this one at the time so every time I would go there to get it they'd always get that other flavor that came out I forget the name of it along with Maori Burst and never got to try it so we're gonna try that today we're also gonna be trying another uh, Robert Irvine protein bar this one is peanut butter chocolate so this I think the way that this looks is I opened it up already it is open I opened it up to get a look at it it almost looks like a uh, what do you want to call it it almost looks like a um, um, Reese's, you know, peanut butter bar. And then we got a different style uh, flavor of chips here. We got the Quest Nacho Cheese instead of the Cool Ranch. Now, I absolutely love the Cool Ranch, if you guys saw my last video. Uh, so we're going to be trying these. These are also open. I have not eaten these yet, but these are open because my fiance bought them and she wanted to try one last night. So I let her have one and, uh, you know, obviously now I'm going to try these for you. But before we get into that, Let's get on to the reaction part, okay? So here's for this coming week. This one's going to take me a little bit longer to put together, but I plan on reacting to the Baby Metal Trilogy. Uh, Shine, I think, something else, some and something else. You guys mentioned in the last video, I took the names down. It's I'm, having a, I'm drawing a blank right now, but whatever their trilogy is that talks about uh, their, the basis that passed, the one member's uh, health issues, and something else that you guys mentioned. I apologize, like I said, I'm... It's early morning when I'm recording this. But anyways, um, we're going to be checking out a Baby metal, metal Trilogy. That one will probably be later this week, so look for it this coming Friday. Today's obviously Saturday when I'm filming this, and hopefully when you guys are seeing this. So hopefully next Friday will be the Baby Metal Trilogy. Um, but in the meantime, I'm also going to check out um, two different requests. Uh, one I'm not going to spoil, not even tell you guys the name, but it's it's a banger. So stay tuned for that. And then I'm also going to check out some Love Bites, uh, some Nemo Villa covers, and some more uh, just regular baby metal. You know, we've uh, kind of fallen off on reacting to those. We got lost in these other bands, and I want to get back to checking out some baby metal. So heavy baby metal reactions this week, a little bit of Love Bites, and a couple Nemo Villa reactions. Okay? If you guys want to click off the video now, if that's what you were here for, um, then Go right ahead. Make sure you leave a like before you do. And if you haven't subscribed already, like I said, make sure you're subscribed. Now, let's taste this. I am hungry. I have waited to eat because I don't want to spoil my palate. Now, when you first pull this out, the way it looks is very, like, look at that. Very, see, you can see the chocolate pieces in there. It looks like there's peanuts in there. So, let's get a bite of this. Oh, I'm okay. Allergy warning. 
this is very obviously peanut butter but this has actual nuts inside too so this is not artificially flavored this is real wow look at that i got it on my thumb it's so soft and gooey that it just practically melted in my hands i love bars like that wow okay so i love peanut butter and jelly sandwiches but i'm not a huge like peanut butter guy like don't get me wrong summer summer nights peanut butter frosties or like peanut butter ice cream oh my god or peanut butter shakes there's this uh local ice cream shop by where i live that has these beautifully tasted peanut butter shake protein shake oh my god and it's like a smoothie like so it's cold it's oh um but i'm not a huge you know peanut butter fan by itself this has a perfect balance of the peanut butter flavor itself like kind of like reese's flavor right but then it also has individual pieces of peanut butter chunk like pe like peanut butter of peanuts in it my lord um so you get the combination of the peanut butter flavor the chocolate uh the gooiness of the bar itself and then you get that nice final hint of like if you just had just peeled a fresh peanut took the shell off and you were eating the inside that's what it tastes like this is really good um because i'm not a huge huge fan of peanut butter i will give this a seven but i think peanut butter lovers uh would love this it's loaded full of protein just like the other one it's got 22 grams of protein unlike the other one that had 500 milligrams of sodium this only has 350 milligrams of sodium that's still a lot but i also learned that sodium is an electrolyte um i was not aware of that i was always because doctors say avoid salt avoid salt you know so sodium you know avoid heavy amounts of it and i didn't realize that our body actually takes in a lot more than we think about you know um this has 80 milligrams of calcium 2.6 grams of iron probably because of the peanuts and the chocolate um potassium it's got 420 milligrams of potassium for my uh broccoli lovers hint hint uh then you'll uh <laughs> you'll get why i laugh there but overall no complaints on this one i'm interested to get into the chip next these are the quest uh protein chips uh i have become a huge fan of these because i've always felt like i'm a gamer right so pizza chips burgers snacks stuff that's easy accessible that i while gaming you know and although i love doritos and stuff you know after you eat a whole bag of Doritos, you kind of feel bad, you know what I mean? So I feel good by eating these because not only can I eat one bag and be full for hours, like, I can attest to that. I can eat a bag of these and be full for like an hour, hour and a half, um, as long as I haven't done like crazy physical stuff. Um, also, if you guys hear some background noise, I apologize. I have roommates and they're kind of walking around upstairs right now. Uh, and because I'm in my bedroom, I'm not in my soundproof office where I normally record. So my bad if you hear any background. But uh, this has 330 milligrams of sodium, 18 grams of protein, 170 milligrams of calcium, 50 milligrams of potassium, and iron 0 0.3 milligrams. Um, so not a lot of iron in it. But this is nacho cheese flavor. So let's see how this cheesiness. This is how, oops, I grabbed two. Okay, so that's how it looks. Almost looks like a Dorito. Look at that. Sorry, guys. I was trying to get my camera to focus, and it kept glitching. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh. I think I forgot to mention in the last video that these are also gluten-free. And they're baked, never fried. And they have a gram of fiber in them. And they have a very long shelf life. These don't go bad till 12, 11, 24. It says Best Buy, you know. Granted, I'm sure if you open these and don't eat them, that they'll be bad, you know, by then. But not going to lie. Hashtag on, on a quest. Quest chips, you guys are doing it right. 10 out of 10 on these, just like the last ones. 10 out of 10. 
I would buy these outright. Um, it is like three dollars and fifty nine cents at at my local store where I get them for these. And as you can see, the bag is kind of small, but they do fill it up all the way. Okay, they fill the bag up to here. It's not a lot of air, and um, it's eighteen grams of protein. So you spend three bucks on this, or what do you spend three bucks on a bigger bag of chips? And you get you know, you, the Doritos or these. You know what I mean? If you're trying to be healthy, then here you go. All right. On to the last part of the video, guys. I did not expect this video to be just 10 minutes of me fucking talk, uh, talking and sipping on Mountain Dew. <laughs> All right. On to the Maui Burst. All right. Okay. Very smells like artificial pineapple. You can smell the artificial flavor, you know. But... Uh, Oh. Okay. Okay. I would drink more of this. Not gonna lie. So this has Hold on, one more sip. I got it. There's there's a taste that's trying to unlock a memory of what this tastes like. This honestly tastes like the pineapple cocktail juices that you get. Because if you guys know there's a difference between pineapple juice, pineapple concentrate, you know, juice from concentrate, and then the cocktails, right? This very much reminds me of like a, a great value type of cocktail. It's not bad. I would drink this because it's Mountain Dew. It's got caffeine in it, you know, and it doesn't taste bad. But it's very odd at first. Like when you open it and you smell it, you're like, hmm, that's, whoa, okay, that's a little bit different. And then you take a sip and you're it's like, oh, okay, that's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It doesn't stink, but it just has that like... That artificial smell to it, you know, uh, if you guys know what I'm talking about, leave a like. Um, Alright guys, I think that's going to be it for this video. Stay tuned, I'm going to work on some reactions today, uh, and um, get a couple of them recorded. I will edit them, and then get them out to you guys by tomorrow, alright? So, if you made it to the end of the video, leave a like. Comment down below uh, if you guys want to see me try any snacks. And as always, stay healthy, happy, spread love, not hate. Peace out. Again, sorry guys about the background noise. It's Saturday, so house is kind of busy today.